In a tranquil village nestled amidst the undulating hills, there dwelt a group of young disciples under the tutelage of a revered master. These eager youths thirsted not only for knowledge, but also sought guidance on virtues to embrace and pitfalls to avoid. One serene evening, as the sun gracefully descended beneath the horizon, casting the sky in hues of gold, the disciples gathered beneath the canopy of a majestic old tree. They sat in a circle, their hearts and minds brimming with questions about qualities and behaviors unworthy of respect. It was Lisa, a thoughtful young boy, who spoke first. Master, he began, we have learned much about the qualities that cultivate wisdom and virtue, but could you enlighten us on the qualities and actions we should steer clear of, those that do not merit our respect? The master, with his serene demeanor, nodded in understanding and began to impart his wisdom. Respecting someone entails recognizing their positive qualities and virtues, he began, but it is equally important to understand what should not be respected. Let me shed light on ten qualities or actions that should not command your respect. The first quality that deserves no respect is arrogance, the master continued. Arrogant individuals carry themselves with an inflated sense of self-importance. They believe they are superior to others and often look down upon those around them. This sense of superiority blinds them to the valuable lessons they can learn from their peers and even from life itself. Arrogance can lead to isolation, as others may find it challenging to connect with or relate to someone who constantly exudes an air of superiority. This isolation can be detrimental, preventing them from experiencing diverse perspectives and gaining a deeper understanding of the world. Moreover, Arrogance hampers personal growth. When one believes they already know everything, they are less likely to seek new knowledge or accept constructive feedback. True wisdom comes from a willingness to acknowledge that there is always more to learn and room for improvement. Arrogance is a quality that should be avoided because it not only hinders personal growth, but also cuts off the potential for meaningful connection and the valuable insights that can be gained from others. The master's students listened attentively, eager to learn more. The master proceeded to the second quality not to respect, dishonesty. Dishonesty is a quality that one should avoid because it signifies a lack of integrity and credibility. When someone is dishonest, it means they don't tell the truth and often twist facts or events to suit their own interests. This behavior can erode trust and damage relationships in a significant way. When a person is dishonest, it becomes difficult to rely on them or believe what they say. Trust is a fundamental pillar of any healthy relationship, whether it's between friends, family members, or colleagues. When dishonesty is present, trust is compromised, and the foundation of the relationship weakens. Dishonesty not only affects trust, but also has a broader impact on the community and society at large. It can lead to a culture of deceit and dishonesty, making it harder for people to work together effectively, leading to misunderstandings, conflicts, and a lack of cooperation. Honesty is a virtue highly regarded and respected. Honest individuals are seen as reliable and trustworthy, their words and actions align with truth and integrity, fostering strong bonds and healthy relationships. Therefore, dishonesty is a quality that should be recognized and avoided as it undermines trust and the very fabric of our social connections. The third quality that deserves no respect, the Master continued, is selfishness. It's an undesirable trait that we must recognize and strive to avoid, Selfish individuals have a tendency to put their own desires and needs above those of others. This self-centered behavior often results in harm to the people around them and more broadly leads to a lack of harmony and cooperation within their communities. To delve a bit deeper into this concept, selfishness can manifest in various ways. It might mean someone who refuses to share 
always insists on having their way, or constantly seeks personal gain without considering how it affects others. When we encounter selfishness in others or recognize it in ourselves, it's important to understand the negative consequences it can have. Selfish actions can erode trust and create conflicts as they demonstrate a lack of concern for the well-being and feelings of others. In the long run, a community or group that tolerates and respects selfish behavior may find itself fragmented, with individuals prioritizing their own interests over the collective good. Selfish behavior is likely to suffer from a lack of unity, cooperation, and genuine caring for one another. Therefore, by identifying and avoiding the respect for selfishness, we can contribute to a more harmonious and considerate world where people prioritize the collective well-being over their individual desires. The Master's words resonated with a profound sense of wisdom as he continued, The fourth quality that one should not respect is cruelty. It is important to understand that cruelty refers to actions and behavior that deliberately inflict harm upon others, often causing significant pain and suffering. Compassion and empathy are qualities that should be extended to those who are in need, those who may be experiencing hardships or difficulties. These virtues reflect our capacity to understand and share the feelings of others, and they are qualities that deserve respect. On the other hand, cruelty stands in stark contrast to compassion. Cruel individuals intentionally engage in actions that bring about harm, whether it's physical, emotional, or psychological. This deliberate infliction of pain is morally wrong and ethically unacceptable in the pursuit of wisdom and virtue. It is vital to recognize that cruelty has no place in a virtuous heart or a wise mind. Instead, we should strive to cultivate kindness, empathy, and compassion, for these are the qualities that lead to a more harmonious and just world. So remember, cruelty is a quality that should never be respected, and we should always seek to promote understanding, empathy, and kindness in our own lives. Continuing his lesson, the wise master moved on to the next point, stating that the fifth quality that should not be respected is laziness. When we talk about laziness, we're referring to individuals who lack the drive and motivation to make the most of their abilities and, in turn, fail to contribute positively to society. Respect is a precious sentiment that should be reserved for those who consistently and diligently put in the effort. Now, let's delve a bit deeper into this concept. Laziness is essentially a reluctance to exert oneself or a consistent avoidance of work and responsibility. It's not merely a momentary desire to relax or take a break. Those can be healthy and necessary. Rather, laziness is an ongoing habit of neglecting one's duties and ambitions. When we respect individuals, we acknowledge their virtues, efforts and contributions. People who embody hard work and dedication are often those who drive progress, inspire others, and create positive change in their communities. On the other hand, those who exhibit laziness tend to squander their potential and, by extension, miss opportunities to make a meaningful impact on the world. To respect laziness would be to endorse a disposition that runs counter to the very values that make individuals and societies prosper. It's not about disregarding people who might be temporarily resting or recharging. It's about recognizing that respect should be primarily directed toward those who exhibit the determination and commitment to reach their full potential and contribute constructively to the greater good. Moving on to the next point, the Master addressed close-mindedness as the sixth quality that should not be respected. Close-mindedness refers to a rigid unwillingness to consider new ideas, perspectives, or information. Continuing with his teachings, the Master's voice remained steady and composed as he addressed the next point. The sixth quality that should not be respected is close-mindedness, he said. 
Individuals who exhibit this trait tend to shut themselves off from considering different perspectives or new ideas, and in doing so, they hinder not only their own personal growth, but also the progress of their communities. Open-mindedness, on the other hand, is a virtue that promotes understanding, creativity, and unity, while close-mindedness is a trait that obstructs these essential qualities, he explained in great depth. Close-minded individuals are often unwilling to entertain ideas or viewpoints that differ from their own. They create mental barriers that prevent the exchange of knowledge and the exploration of diverse thoughts. This can lead to stagnation and a lack of progress, both for the individual and the collective group they are a part of. In essence, close-mindedness closes the door to potential growth and enlightenment. Conversely, open-mindedness is a quality that fosters the free flow of ideas and promotes a spirit of learning and cooperation. When people are open to new perspectives, they can engage in constructive discussions, solve problems more effectively, and adapt to changing circumstances. This openness enables them to embrace the richness of diversity, learn from others, and build stronger, more harmonious communities. The master advised the young boys not to respect close-mindedness as it stifles growth and hampers the positive progress of both individuals and their communities. Instead, they should aspire to cultivate open-mindedness as a valuable quality that leads to greater understanding, collaboration and personal development. Continuing, the master addressed the seventh quality to avoid respecting envy. Envy is a deeply ingrained emotion in some individuals. It's when you harbor bitterness or discontent towards others' successes, possessions or advantages. This feeling can be a destructive force in one's life, leading to negativity and hampering personal growth. Let's delve a bit deeper into this notion of envy. Envy often arises when we compare ourselves to others and find ourselves lacking in some way. It can be a painful emotion because it not only makes you resent someone else's good fortune, but also robs you of your own joy and contentment. When you allow envy to fester, it can lead to a host of negative consequences. It can strain relationships, as envy often makes us act in ways that are unkind or unsupportive of others. It can also undermine your self-esteem and confidence, as constantly measuring yourself against others can make you feel inadequate. Moreover, envy can be a significant barrier to personal development and growth. It distracts you from your own goals and aspirations as you're too preoccupied with what others have achieved. Instead of using their success as motivation, envy can turn it into a source of frustration and self-doubt. In essence, respecting envy means recognizing its toxic nature and making a conscious effort to steer clear of it. Instead of allowing envy to control your thoughts and actions, it's better to channel your energy into self-improvement, setting your own goals, and celebrating the successes of others without comparison. Conclusion Resentment, they learned, leads to a more positive and fulfilling life, devoid of the negativity that envy can bring. The master's students listened intently, absorbing the wisdom of their master. They left that evening with a deeper understanding of what actions and qualities to avoid respecting in their lives. With this knowledge, they were better equipped to navigate the path of wisdom and virtue. As the students absorbed the master's teachings, they felt a profound shift in their understanding. They knew that avoiding these ten qualities and actions was just as crucial as embracing wisdom and intelligence. With this knowledge, they left the gathering that evening, their hearts lighter and their minds clearer. In the days that followed, the students began to implement the wisdom shared by the master into their lives. They found that by not respecting these negative qualities, they created space for personal growth, compassion and understanding. Their bonds with one another deepened and they felt a renewed sense of purpose. And so, 
the teachings of the Venerable Master continued to guide them on their journey towards a more fulfilling and enlightened life. The Master continued to inspire the students, guiding them on the path of virtue and enlightenment. If you found this story inspiring, don't forget to show your support. Please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing for more moments of motivation and tranquility. Your engagement fuels our journey, and together we can walk the path of wisdom and enlightenment. Thank you for being a part of our community.